Right now, I think we're going to go to uh, Lane Leverage Barn. You know where that is? I believe I've been there once or well, twice. Well, we ain't going to his barn. We're going to go out to Pleasant <coughs> Valley to the uh, Coat Third Review. Third annual. Third annual Coat Review. That video is ready. Let's show some. There it is. We can't do nothing else we draw a crowd. Hey, you draw a crowd, but a lot of eating going on. There's my baby girl. Check her out. find them in the chow line. Yes, sir. What about that hot grilled cheese is on the side? Oh, yeah. There's George. You gotta get Bob you gotta in there. Gotta get Bob. I told him, I said, Bob, they got a 12-foot ladder inside. <laughs> he, he come up there lugging his own ladder. <laughs> Barnes. Oh, yeah. You know who that is, don't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> great part of this right here is you get a bunch of people Jerry, together you like that and everybody goes yeah. all good. <laughs> you know, it's a good fellowship. Oh, yeah. Jerry made him getting him some, too. I asked him if he fixed me a plate, and he said, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great fellowship. We had a good day. A lot of good people out there for that. Now, it, it right, just pays off. First one in the ring right here, Scott Tote, by Copperfield, out of a Jose Bear, doing a good job. Big high-headed coat right here, shaking and walking, doing a good job. How many did y'all sell total? Over the weekend, we sold six head. Sold uh, two honors coats, sold an honors three-year-old, two black gin coats, and uh, another little off-bread coat. Now, for all the people that's watching this that don't have horses, a lot of times, like right now, they ride these two-year-olds with blinders on because they're not used to seeing a bunch of people around. So they want them looking straight ahead and not paying attention to what's going on on the side. And so, you know, a lot of these coats right here are still green. Like this coat here, this Copperfield coat's been rode maybe 60 days. You know, he's not ready to be over there, but you know, we want to bring him over and get him around stuff. Well, that's the only way they ever learn. More people around and the more thing that goes around. I watched Bobby McNatt sensitize a horse one time. And some of the things he was doing, it just shocked me because he would rattle the fence at them and everything just to get them, just to get them sensitized to things going on around them. Another thing about these coat previews, normally they'll only ride them coats up and down through there two or three times, and then that's it. All this as far as just let people know what's out there. And that young man right there wrote several nice ones. Yes, sir, he did. Tanner, he did. Tanner does a great job. Take a look here. Great big soft coat right here. It's fall coat, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at him. He's talking about one and you know, these coats are still a long way from going to the horse show, but you know, they're going up down through there in a six ounce chain and round people and they're doing it like they're supposed to, so. Yeah. Well, a lot of them don't have on six ounce chain. A lot of them want a smaller chain. But the thing, I saw a lot of nice coats out there, free going. 
It does not up look like there's, you know, being forced. They're just going real smooth like it. That, that's what you was after. You got one this age that starts using that head like uh -huh. that. You're in good shape. There was a lot of good coats over there Saturday. Well, I don't and you see a lot of coats that, that maybe not looked as good through here that'll be good toward the summer. You know? Well, yeah. Well, if you take they've only got 60 days training. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's not a whole lot of training. It, it it takes a little bit more than that for these coats to come along and get ready it to does. go. It does. It really so does. So it's, uh, I want to remind everybody, right here, one that I really like. Of course, I own it. This is... On the slide, this is a three-year-old stand by Arms Deal For Real. Out of Lima Cash Man, that's out of a Jazz Man, man that's out of the Sky I think we, Watch. We had a, I think a four on him. Red three-year-old stand. He is a three-year-old. Nice, nice old kid. Yeah. Well, he's smooth and he's, he's an honest horse. So just about any day you go out and ride him, what you see right there is I told uh, Bobby Jones one time, he said, I want to come see him when you want me to come. I said, any day you want to do, just come on out. Because in all honesty, when you get out there after you warm him up a little bit right there, is that a little bit better because it's, it's, the longer you ride him, the better he gets. So we warmed him up. We got him where he needed to be and brought him in. And if she had rode him up and down through there two or three more times, he, he had really gotten good. But he gets the job done. Good enough for me anyway. I tell you, Blaze brought several nice yeah, she did. There. You know, there's a lot of people making comments about her horses that she brought out there. And I have to agree with her. Blaze does a, one more good job, you know, and a hard, hard worker. Well, she, she works hard. You can tell that. I mean, she stays and I'm going to tell you something else about that girl. She is one more good person yeah. and a heck of a representative for our breed. She is. You every time you never see her without a smile on her face. Nope. <laughs> and uh, she, the the world could use a lot more Blaze Bacards. I tell you that. I believe they could do, buddy. I agree with you 100. percent She's always seen just ever since I started seeing her. She always seemed like she just right there, just super good. But you know, that Justin Janae and Leatherwood Farm, they've got a lot of coats over there. And, and you know, they do a great job. They There's are, Justin. Yes, sir. Good, good, good group of folks right here. Well, they work hard. You know, the whole industry's full of good people, though. When, you know. well, when you get down to it, it it's hard to. Uh, but that, know, that guy right there runs a heck of a good operation. Will Rogers once said he never met a man he didn't like. Well, I about feel about the same way. I haven't seen met a trainer I didn't like. Blaze puts a pretty gate on the horse. She sets a good saddle too now. She really does. She she sets in there and she gets it done. Hey, this filly right here, I'll tell you what, she's ready. Yeah, about 30 days I made a prediction and I still believe it now. She's got one reserve World Grand Championship under her belt, but I believe she's gonna be the next lady to win the World Grand Championship. She very well could be, I tell you that. Well, I, I don't see anybody I'll else tell you in there. I one thing about it. When she comes in that ring, yep. no matter what she's riding, you got to beat her because she's in there for she's in there to win. Yeah, that's a fact. There ain't no coasting and playing with her. And she's got a following. Don't think she doesn't. Oh, she, the best in hey, anywhere. She's got a lot of people that, that really like her you know, way of riding. The, you know, the, if you football, they say Dallas Cowboys, that's America's team. Or the, you know, and Rass and the Rock, he's the people's champ. Well, in the horse business, Blaze Bacard is the people's champ. That's it. She, she, is, she's a got a big fan she is a people's lady, buddy. No, she, she has got her following. 
Justin Janae, uh, Justin Harris brought several yes, horses too. Justin. This is a good filly here. This is a full sister of Woodstock. Well, there you are. How can you be there in here, too? Well, <laughs> this filly right here gets finished up in her mouth. She's going to be a, she's going to be a good one. I tell you what, a lot of people don't realize what all it takes to take a horse from the pasture and finally take it to the show ring. And of course, a lot of them, they don't make it to the show ring. They'll make it in another division like that. Some of them are just, you know, they'll make flat shot that they won't make performance. But uh, the ones that do, and you can normally, after you've had them 60 to 90 days, you know whether they, they're going to be there. That's right. And, and then they'll make, and then they'll get so good and it won't ever get no better. Well, you know, some of them continue to get better. You know, it's kind of like people. You got kids that they all play sports when they're little. But as time goes, some of them has to be a doctor, lawyer, a TV host, or a horse trainer. Some of them will play football and basketball. That's it. Well, you know, these coaches are the same way. Some of them's got to be players or horses. And some will be show horses. Some of them be trail horses. Some of them be trail horses. I seen where Gail Walden has, uh, I seen a post where she said she's trying something new. She trail took that trail ride. You know, a lot of people do. A lot of people that show performance, they'll they decide, well, heck, I want to show a, a flat shot horse. I want to show country pleasure or something. Well, people just love the horse, man. I know it. I couldn't imagine my life without a horse. I tell you what, I, I, I was away from the industry for several years, but... I did not realize how much I missed it until I got back involved in it. And, that's, and, that, that, and I'm going to tell you someone that, that's about like I was, Sarah Coffey. Sarah Coffey Burke, buddy. When she got back in, she got she, in. She got a, a, did a nose dive and then come off the bluff for the belly buster because she busted it wide open. She just, she loves horses, she loves to show. She loves the That's a pretty nice horse right there. Yeah. The Nelsons, they come from all the way from Arkansas to bring yep. these coats up here. Sure do. They may be in uh, Danville next week. They may be. You know, Mr. Allen and uh, Mr. Joe there. They have brought some good ones up here, nice ones. Now there's a there's a 70 year old man breaking. Yep. He got his coach breaking. Done done him himself, right? You tell me this ain't a good breed of horses. Tell me about it. I tell you the most thing that I really love about the Tennessee walking horse is it's something the entire family. The entire family can get involved in. Yes, sir. And here comes Blaze again. Hey, this is a coat right here I really yeah. liked. This is a coach coat that went through here. Yeah. I liked him a lot. Everybody out there is watching today. You can go down to Rising Star and see some good fall coats that David Williams has up right now. And like Lane says, he's uh, looking to... We've got trade, about, buy, sell. We've got about 12 falls already in, six or eight springs. And of course, we'll just feed 10 to the springs, let them grow, but we'll start riding about 12 of these falls already. So we're ready to buy them up. I like this coat right here. Hey, I tell you what, it's good. Look, that's another one Blaze brought up. Have a full sister. 
Well, ain't that Brian? That's Brian. You got a good one there. You know he told me this morning that he was 51. He sure is. Hey, I thought he was in his mid-30s. <laughs> Now he, I tell you what, now he's a horseman. Yes, sir. Now he knows what he's doing on horse. Yeah, he's good. Boy. He likes he likes those deals too. Yeah. Now he does. Well, you know he he started minor over. He deal. sure did. He started minor over this. He started him over with Dicks. That's a good coat here by Charlie. Huh? He's out of a Jose man. Along with Mr. John Eldridge. John and Amy Eldridge, I say. I can't forget Miss Amy. Yeah, because you're probably going to end up hers anyway. That's the way it goes. We, we always, uh, parents always say, or husbands always say, yeah, that's my horse until my oh, wife wants it. Yeah, that's right. Be like, kind of like, women, women have a different way. Maybe I could the other day, Wanted this dog, so uh, in order to get the dog, she got the dog and gave it to Frank for Valentine's. <laughs> That's what she ended up with. Now there's a card for you, Troy Richard. Troy Richard, and he's, he's got some good ones. He got Junior Wilford out there working with him. Big old coat right there. Yeah. Tell you what, I've seen some huge spring coats this year that uh, some that are going. I've seen a couple of deals that are huge. I've seen a big honors coat too. That, that good size coat. Have you seen the coat out of Tim Smith's? Which one? The honors coat. Now I've heard a lot about him and seen a video of it. I want to go. I want to go see him. In you need to talk to me and let me see him and get a video. I'm telling you, I've I've done this all my life, and I believe he's the best year I've ever laid my eyes on. I'm gonna have to. He go is go unreal. I'm gonna have to go out there and uh, see if he won't let me get a video of him because I've heard a lot about him well, now. You, you just remember that I told you on today's show he'll be if nothing happens, he don't get hurt. He'll be world grand champion as long as they want to show him. Well, I've heard, I've heard he's a piece of work. He come, them, the kind he is comes along once in a lifetime. I tell you what, people have got to where they, uh, this selective breeding. It keeps paying off more and more as time goes on. Yes, it does. And it, it just, it's a, well, it's a, it just breed speaks for itself. Oh, Mr. Brent Grider. Come all the way from Kentucky for us. Yep. Pretty nice right there. What uh, are you all going to cover Cottonwood? I don't know if we're going to make it up to Cottonwood or not. If we can get a sponsor, I might go up there because that's a pretty good home. And uh, I like as much as I can to uh, do two camera shoots. Like if you notice here, we're getting, we're getting two sides of the ring. I think that just betrays our horse better and gives people a better idea of what we've got, Mr. LaRue. But if, if I can, uh, if we get a sponsor, I'll, I'll go up the top of it. I've never been up there. You need to give Martin a call. Yeah, I'd never been to Danville until last year. Really? David Land, uh, Latham called me. And uh, he, said, he said, I'll do the sponsorship if you'll come down here and we covered it. And I enjoyed it. I, I, Kelly Peavy's got a beautiful place down there. And it would pay people to go because there'll be a lot of good coats down there. A lot of Alabama coats. Mm -hmm. A lot of Alabama. Mm -hmm. Jose's 
Mexico that they have brought is by Asolwego, two-year-old state. His name is Jose Skywalker. Good looking girl. Doing a good job. You know when for the crowd and things and the, the party all together, man, I've, I've, I really appreciate everybody that comes out to support us and be with us because it sure makes it a, a good time. It makes it a good thing, but look at the people yes, gathered sir. down there. And you know, this time of year, we need a lot of this stuff going on. These coat previews are very important to us right now. We need more than we have, and, uh, and I know it's hard because you got to you got to really take care of these coats. There's Brad Beard. Felt, I told him, I said, are you hunting a florist? He said, I'd love to. <laughs> it, it's a private joke. He bought, he bought his wife some roses, I believe it was, and they didn't deliver them. Or delivered them to the wrong place or something. Roger, the top two-year-old Philly right here by Jose Jose. Still out here to help yourself. But yeah, it, 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 these coats, you, you have to be careful with them, just like we gave shots yesterday. So, them coats won't get rolled for two or three days. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just have to be careful with them. They're young. So, it, it, it to have a coat preview every weekend would be, would be rough. But, uh, if you, if you mixed them up, it would, wouldn't be bad. Maybe have one a month. Uh, and I think that's about what we're looking at now. We got one in Alabama. Yeah. Got one in, in <laughs> but we got two in Kentucky. Joseph Cole. Joseph Cole. Joseph, Joseph works a few of at home and sale for the evenings. Does a good job with That's a good fella right there, Joseph is. I don't think I've met him. You know, we was busy putting all us all through here. I'm seeing some coach yeah. here that I didn't get to see. <laughs> Well, I told you, we, we, we videoed a bunch over there. It, there was a bunch of good coats. I mean, it was well worth the trip over there to, to video this because this is good to, to put out here in the public and let them see. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose, Jose, and he is out of a direct general Check his coat I think we'll probably end up putting up most of this up on YouTube because there's a lot of good ones. And Wood does a great job of announcing what's out there over there. Ryan Black. That's a nice one right there. That horse got some good motion with him. Mm -hmm. Smooth. That boy right there is a good horse trainer. I'm talking about a good horse. Well, I'm watching them ride, and I, that's what I do a lot is watch the person in the saddle to see how they're handling the horse and where they've got their hands and what they're doing and if they're jerking or anything. As you can see, he, he, he got his hands steady, doesn't have them up real high. I like this uh, amateur owned and trained this division. Mm -hmm. I've got one that uh, I've been working him this winter. And, uh, I work him here in the week and then I put Olivia on him on Saturday and let her ride him. But uh, I enjoy that. Poison by Joe. Poison by Joe. He, Joe Martin bred. Yep. I miss Joe Martin. I do too. I talk to him down here every day. Do you a good job. Here we go. This is Poison by Joe. 
Joe Joe and I go way, way back. He's a, he a special friend. And I'm going to tell you now, you're talking about somebody who knew the proper way to feed, how to feed, how to get the most out of your horse through feed. And I've got a feeding video that we did with Joe. Yeah. You know, when he knew he was a master breeder, oh, he, bred, he bred and raised many good show horses. I know when he won on Skywatch, oh, right. hey, three-year-old went to the breeding barn. He knew what he had. Yep. Well, you know, he, he think of the world grand champions that, that come from Joe Martin's program. He got Skywatch, Coats, Master Jazz, Watch It Now. Uh, that's just what I can think of without really thinking about it, you know. And a lot of people think of a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah. Because Joe was it. First time I saw Joe, was he was uh, just started training for Frey Eshkin. Him and Judy were married. And I knew I liked him right off the bat because uh, they said, won't you meet the trainer? I went around to the back and Joe was back there. They were breaking the coat. Joe was on the ground with a rope and he had Judy on the coat. <laughs> I said, smart man. But Judy could ride. But... Now, I have no idea why Justin has brought this flat shot, but you know it's still all right. It gives us a little variety. Well, you know, outside, in your ring out there, they had a seven-year-old mare. A flat walking, I mean, piece of work. Really? Great horse. I mean, absolutely great. But flat shot horses, I'm going to tell you now, people like them. Well, this is a pretty good one here. Yes, it is. Well, that little uh, wingling that I've got, about ready to wing now, I put him out there and everybody was asking about him because of the way he walked. And uh, I, I, I just like him a whole lot, so I priced him sky high. But uh, Jerry Might and I was having coffee the other morning. And he told me, he said, well, the thing about it, he says, like, like I looked at it, the hand and everybody, if he don't want to be performance, he's going to be great flat shot. And that's, that's another way of looking at it. That's a good feeling here by Lionel yeah. Cash. Sure is. There's another master breeder right there is Charles Glick. Oh, Lord. Charles is raises a lot nice. of good coats. Charles is something else. He is something else. And that might be uh, his Billy right there. It is. Okay, I was fixing to say because he told me, he said that he had a good one in there. And these Burke boys, they ride a lot of good horses. They're our future. Damn, yes, your boy. That's who we got to depend on. Danny and Tanner, they got they got a lot of good coats. Well, I'm gonna tell they you now. Good job. I watch them out there working. They they stay at it. Mm -hmm. I know Brian stays at it, and your boy seems to be staying at it pretty pretty hot and heavy. All right, here's my little brother Ed Yokin. Tell you what, <laughs> when he broke one out, Jerry Summers standing over there. He rode by Jerry and he just reached down and snatched his hat off his head, <laughs> kept going. Jerry was looking everywhere for that hat, and old Yokely was sitting up on his horse over there. I am Dabo. I am Dabo. Until you guys stay right here, I am Dabo. 
I think he wanted to hurry up and get done. It was too pretty of a day when he was fishing. <laughs> I don't blame him. It was pretty nice out there on Saturday. It turned out to be perfect. Yeah. It started off kind of chilly, but then when you're outside, it was warm. It's a good cold day now. There's a lot of people. Come on around here. Look here. I am Dabo. You know, I think I'm going to fix that thing next year where we ride all the way around. Well, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Put everything. This is a slim shady coat right here out of a Jose Mayer. Belongs to Eddie Guthrie. It's a good coat. This coat really was too green. Wasn't ready to be over there, but you'll, you'll read about this one. Guthrie machine? Yes, sir. All right. Eddie and Christy Guthrie. No, he, he's got a filly down at Jerry's. Oh, does he? Yeah, nice one, too. And I mean nice. I like him. We talk all the time. I saw him over there. Yeah, he's, he's a good man. I enjoy when he comes to the barn. We cut up. We cone hunt, talk old dogs. My father-in-law was a big coon hunter. I never could get into that. Me and my dad, we used to do rabbit dogs. Yes. I got into that big time. Liked it. You know, when think you don't see none of these coats that are just really not good. Everything's pretty. Everything's pretty everything's nice. kind of nice. I mean, you got some that's got it more together than others, but you don't see any that's just you know that you just turn your nose up at. It just every one of them got something that you can point out that's positive. This is we're still what. We got February, the end of March, we got the trainer show. Yes, sir. He'll be naming trainers, show judges mm -hmm. for long. Should be anyway. Coat right there. Yep. It, it, you said that one from Walt Warburg. Yep. They brought her over to the bar on Friday night. We, we had a bunch of friends over and rode the coach most of the night. Friday night, this Philly was real good. I like Ginger now. I'd, Ginger say we, I'd say we had about 50 or 60 people Friday night at the barn hanging out riding. Were you serving food? No, we just <laughs> all just bunch standing around talking. I just wanted to know. Someone could have brought pizza. Well, you know. <laughs> We, uh, we were so busy riding, we didn't even think about it. I tell you, when people get together and just to have a good time like that, that's, that's another something that's very special about the walking horse. People just get together and admire each other's horses. We were a bunch of us out riding the star one day and riding in the... Debbie get off one of hers and let someone else ride her horse. Yeah, Kathy did the same thing. Remind everybody again that do, does not have horses, some of these horses are wearing blinders, and that's so they don't get skittish about the people on the rail. Don't want to distract these horses when they're riding because sudden movement Rome, Young horses. Again, these coats hadn't seen this many folks at one time before. That's a fact. Tell you what, that lit up nice, ain't it? What did he say that was? Oh, uh, thank you, honors. Now, here's a heck of a coat. This is honors out of a sky watch mare, coat named Honored and Applaud. We sold this coat pretty high this weekend. Matter of fact, sold it twice this week. You read about this one. Chain right here. Yeah. Nice 
it's looking. Yes, sir. It's good. Got that head up in there. Yes. Out of a scout watch man. Honor look. Scout watch color. Outlines is silver on top. Outlines is outlines. It's Chris Hilton, ain't it? Oh, it's uh, Joseph Gold. Oh, Joseph Gold. BSA, BSA, Joseph Gold. Best free color. Again, to thin out a little bit. But we're getting late in the day. We're getting yes, about, we're getting right down about quitting time right yeah, now. Yeah, folks started peeling out pretty quick. Normally see that when there's not quite as many horses coming up, they can pretty much feel it coming yeah. and it's almost over. They can look back over behind and see how many is over there to ride. Yeah. So they say, yep, it's about quitting time. Parked out there, I imagine a bunch of them was trying to get out of there before they had to set in line. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got them coming two at a time now. Brian just don't want to quit. Oh, Woody gets carried away in there, doesn't he? Yes. He sees one he, if he sees one he likes, everybody in the house knows it. Woody has done this for me all three years we've done it. He, uh, he does anything. I mean, he tries to help us. He don't ever ask me for a dime to do it. I said, Woody, I need to play no, sir. I love doing it. But I tell you, one of the biggest things I like about Woody doing, if you heard him say the prayer before we start, yeah. it touch your heart listening to him. Hey, it comes from good family. Yes, sir. Woody Woods, if you can't be. Well, Woody was one of my buddies, man, way back. Good man. When he's around, I don't ever look for nobody to start it off. I just ask Woody to say, to say grace. That's it. That's all you need. Line walking. That's the first one of them I've seen. Yeah, that's the first one. That, that's the only one I saw in there. I've got a I am Jose Philly out of Line Walking's mama to start this time. Well, there's Alden Price up here. Yes, sir, Mr. Mr. Price. He's a pistol. Everybody had a good time, and that's all that matters. Yes, sir. Had a bunch of good coats. Everything looked good. Everything went well. Well, while, while we're sitting here, I want your opinion. Yeah. Year before, we did it late of evening into the night. I like this it year like during it. the day. This. That's what, all right. That's what this I right here. I, I think everybody, if you, you could still go out to dinner, everybody camaraderie during the day. Yokely got to leave and go fishing. I mean, you, you covered all the bases. So, uh, and you know, a lot of there, we had a this weekend, this barn party drew a lot of people in town for the yep. weekend. And uh, so, you know, if they want to go back home, they got time or they rest up. If you do it all night, then they sleep, you know, so I it know. makes it more convenient. It makes it better. 